we are given the function we are given the function f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 y is equal to f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 in the question number one what are x intercepts if any number two what is the y intercept number three what is the vertex number four Substitute x equals x1 equals negative 2. What is y1? Number 5. Substitute x equals x2 equals negative 4. What is y2? Number 6. Find the average rate of change of the function from x equals negative 2 to x equals negative 4. Plot the graph. Rough sketch will do. f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. What are x-intercepts, if any? So question number one, what are x-intercepts, if any? So what is our function? f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. When nothing is written next to x squared, it usually means 1x squared. So you have y is equal to f of x equals 1x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now, for x-intercepts, set y equal to 0. And then solve for x. y is equal to 0. y is equal to 0 means what? f of x equals 0. So 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. And don't forget... 1x squared minus 4x plus 4. This is a quadratic equation. And whenever we know that 0 is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, the solutions are x1 comma 2 equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, a can never be equal to 0. a can never be equal to 0. b can be positive, negative, or 0. And c can be positive, negative, or 0. a, b, and c can be positive or negative. Why don't we put parentheses around it? So you have x1, 2 equals negative. b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 a times c close the parentheses divided by 2 times a so when you compare these two what do we get a equals 1 b equals negative 4 and c is equal to positive 4 so b is negative 4 so negative 4 right here plus or minus do not forget, b squared is negative 4 to the power of 2 minus 4. What is a? a is 1. And what is c? c is 4. And the whole thing divided by 2 times a. What is a? a is 1. So what is negative of negative 4? Positive 4 plus or minus square root of what is negative 4 to the power of 2? It is 16 minus 4 times 4 is 16 divided by 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So this is 4 plus or minus square root of 0 divided by 2, so this is equal to 4 plus or minus 0 divided by 2, and that is equal to 4 divided by 2, and that is equal to 2. So our x-intercept, there's only one x-intercept, and that is 2, 0. So you have f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4, set y equal to 0, and then you have 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4, solve for x. And this is how you solve for x. 
when we solve for the x-intercept, you get only one x-intercept, and that is 2. 2, 0. So your x-intercept is just 2, 0. This is the point where the graph of the curve touched the x-axis. We set y equals 0 and solve for x. 2, 0. This is 1, and this is 2. 2, 0. x equals 2, y equals 0. So this is our x-intercept. The next question is, what is the y-intercept? f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. y-intercept means what? M means set x equals 0. When you set x equals 0, you get f of 0 is equal to substitute x equals 0. And what do we get? f of 0 is equal to 4. What does that mean? When x equals 0, y is equal to 4. So 0, 4 is a point on the graph. So what is our y-intercept? 0, 4. So here is how we do it. In the space occupied by x, we substitute 0 and we get 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is our y-intercept. This is where the graph is going to touch the y-axis. Question is, what is the vertex? So f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. And don't forget, 1x squared minus 4x plus 4 f of x equals a x squared plus b x plus c and what do we get a x squared plus b x plus c you get a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 4 and c is equal to 4 vertex is h k and how do we get h h equals negative b over 2 a negative b b is to what is a what is b b is negative 4 so this is positive 4 divided by 2 and so it is 2 so your vertex has the h equal to 2 how do we get k substitute x equals h and you get k so what is f of 2 and that is k because we are substituting x equals h equal to 2. So x squared minus 4x plus 4 at x equals 2. So this is 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 4. And that is equal to, what is 2 times 2? 4. 4 minus 8 plus 4. And that is equal to 0. So our vertex is at 2, 0. Our vertex is at 2, 0. So number 3, what is the vertex? 2, 0. So we have h equals negative b over 2a. Substitute the numbers that we know, and we get h is equal to 2. Substitute x equals h, and in the space occupied by h, substitute 2 and you get 0. So our vertex is 2, 0. 2, 0 is right here. 2, 0. So this is our vertex and this is our y-intercept and that is 0, 4. So we are done with 1, 2, 3. Now the question is this, what is the value of the function when x equals negative 2? f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. So what is the value of the function when you have x equals negative 2? So substitute x equals negative 2. Wherever we have x, substitute x equals negative 2. So you have f of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 to the power of 2 is positive 4 
negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 and then plus 4 this is 16 so when you have x equals negative 2 y is equal to 16 so let's do that substitute x equals negative 2 and the space occupied by x substitute negative 2 and we get 16 so what is our point on the graph negative 2 16 and that is x1 y1 so we have 1 through 4 done how about x equals negative 4 again f of x equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 substitute f of negative 4 negative 4 wherever we have x substitute negative 4 so what is f of negative 4 equal to 16 negative 4 to the power of 2 is 16 negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 plus 4 so this is 36 so you have negative 4 36 as a point on the graph so you have that x2 y2 is negative 4 36 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 what is the average rate of change of the function from x equals negative 2 to x equals negative 4 the average rate of change of the function is equal to m and that is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so x1 equals negative 2 x1 equals negative 2 y1 equals y1 equals 16 x2 equals negative 4 y2 equals 36 x1 equals negative 2 y1 equals 16 x2 equals negative 4 y2 equals 36 so what is the average rate of change of the function from x equals negative 2 to x equals negative 4 that is given by m and that is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and that is equal to y2 is 36 y1 is 16 x2 is negative 4 and x1 is negative 2 what is 36 minus 16 20 so this is 20 divided by negative 4 plus 2 negative 4 plus 2 this is plus 2 negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 so that is negative 10 so that's what I did here x1 y1 x2 y2 average rate of change of the function is y2 minus y1 36 minus 16 over negative 4 minus negative 2 so that is 20 divided by negative 4 plus 2 and that is 20 divided by negative 2 and negative 10 we now know the average rate of change of the function number seven plot the graph and that is our our graph is going to look like that's a rough plot don't forget it is two zero x-intercept is two zero y-intercept is zero four and this is also the vertex And this is George Matthews signing off. Good luck.